This one's great because not only does it help prevent a lot of plastic waste, it's actually an upgrade from those stupid plastic razors. Use steel razors instead of plastic this <laughs> Anyway, let's get to it. Nature sustains us all. We depend on it for pretty much everything. And we have moral, practical, economic, even aesthetic reasons to protect our environment. We all know the basics, of course, the three R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and to turn the faucet off when we're brushing our teeth and whatnot. Hopefully you do. In this video, I'm gonna talk about a few specific things that I do to protect the environment, or at least to reduce my harm to it, and hopefully you will do some of them as well. Besides their benefit to the environment, most of these will save you some money as well, so let's get started. Avoid single-use items. If you spill something, use a rag instead of a paper towel. If you often take sandwiches for lunch, put them in a reusable container, not in Ziploc bags. Stay away from those single cup coffee makers. Avoid wet wipes as much as you can. If it's for your hands or your face, go wash it at a sink. If it's to wipe down something, use a rag instead. Wet wipes are mostly made out of plastic and they wreak havoc on the environment. Use steel razors instead of disposable plastic ones. This one's great because not only does it help prevent a lot of plastic waste, it's actually an upgrade from other razors. Steel razors do an excellent job and with their weight and their texture, they're a lot more enjoyable to use. Also, they look pretty cool and they make excellent gifts for environmentally conscious men and women. If you got a cat at home, use paper bags to clean their litter instead of plastic bags. Since the litter is already absorbent, there's not going to be anything wet in there anyway. And paper bags work great for this while avoiding a lot of plastic from ending up in landfills. When you go to ice cream or frozen yogurt places, get your order in a waffle cone instead of those paper cups. Waffle cones are crunchy and delicious, and thanks to you, there will be one less plastic lined paper cup and a plastic spoon going to the landfill. At Starbucks and in other coffee places, get your order in an actual mug. Or if you need it to go, bring your own reusable coffee cup. Starbucks will even give you a 10 cent discount for doing so, at least they did at the time of this recording. And even if they don't give you a discount, you would be preventing another paper cup from ending up in the ocean. If you got a car, truck, SUV, whatever, inflate your tires. This will both improve your gas mileage and extend the life of your tires. This is good advice for bikes also, it'll save you some energy. Next time you need clothes hangers, pick steel and wooden ones instead of plastic ones. These might seem more expensive at first, but they last a lot longer and they're more enjoyable to use. Plastic ones seem like they'll cost you less at first, but they break easily and quickly become harmful waste. Eat less meat. Carbon emissions of the meat industry is quite high. And if you can't or won't go without meat, generally speaking, smaller the animal, the better. So while a meatless meal is best, going with chicken instead of beef is still quite a bit better. If you're getting yourself a drink at a store, go with something in a glass bottle or an aluminum can instead of something in a plastic bottle. Switch to LED light bulbs. They use less power than the alternatives and they last longer. So even if they seem more expensive at first, in the long run, they're definitely the cheapest option. If you need to cover up leftover food or something, go with aluminum foil instead of saran wrap or cling film. Obviously, aluminum is more easily recyclable, and even if it ends up in trash, it's less harmful than plastic. 
If you have a yard or have access to one, definitely have a compost pile. You can also keep chickens and grow some of your vegetables and herbs. If you're not going to be on your computer for over six hours or so, shut it down. And if you'll get back on within a few hours, don't shut it down. Just put it to sleep. As much as you can, fix and mend your old and broken stuff instead of just replacing them. For a lot less plastic packaging waste, use soap bars instead of liquid soap and plastic packages. Use Ecosia for online searches. Every search helps plant trees. You can just go to ecosia.org or you can add it to your browser as an extension. Avoid styrofoam whenever you can. Instead of those styrofoam shipping peanuts, use scrunched up papers. And if you know you're gonna end up with uh, leftovers someplace, bring your own reusable Tupperware. Borrow books and magazines and whatever else you can from libraries instead of just buying them. Don't use the dryer, hang dry your clothes. Even if you want them to be soft, instead of drying them all the way in the dryer, you can just let them hang dry and put them in the dryer for just a few minutes to fluff them up. Use wired controllers and mice as much as possible. This will save you the hassle of changing or charging batteries all the time and fewer batteries will end up in trash. When choosing cleaners and detergents, try to avoid harsh, toxic chemicals. That'll be better for you and the environment. Contact your representatives. Let them know the environment is important for you and that you expect them to do more about it. Last but definitely not least, educate yourself. There are great YouTube videos and documentaries on green energy, how we handle trash, and other environment-related topics. Find out what you can do, your workplace can do, your school can do, and finally, educate others. Most people do what they do because they're not aware that there's a better way. Don't shame anyone or be rude, of course, but share what you know. Before new habits and new behaviors, there must be new perspective or new insights. And ultimately, education will bring about a better future. Obviously, policy changes and better laws regulating major industries will be more effective when it comes to protecting the environment. But we can and should make improvements in both the micro and the macro scales. Remember, with even our smallest choices, we can make the world a better place.